reaction to this coverage of the uh, Warners Champion Schools. Uh, we're going to get started through rating team sheets, but I'm delighted. My name is Dave Parkinson. I'm delighted to be alongside Lewis Farcell. Uh, Lewis, we've seen the first sort of five, ten minutes of the game so far. What's your thoughts? Um, I think it's been a great... They've got out the blocks really, really well, and they've used the field position to their advantage when they've had the ball close range. They've um, they've only missed probably I think one chance out of the, out of the three that they've had so far in the opening stages. Couple of early tries. So Demi Lee Abbott scored the first. We've just seen that one under the post from Blessing Dundo, um, and, and some real powerful running along the way to that. Yeah, the, I think that they're getting the they're finding the finding the floor and getting a quick play of the ball, and that's making it tough for Sirius. But um, I think we need to keep his eyes on Sirius once they get to, down the other side of the field because they looked um, a little bit threatening they've got some good offloads and if they can speed the game up they'll um, get some joy certainly they've had some uh, initial carries from the number eight Elsie Hill which with the 11 at the moment Holly Page Page is on that right hand side of the field plays it on the halfway line ball down the right hand side little cut back comes in and the run comes in from Enola Aitchison now it's down that left hand side Still in possession. Switching it down that right hand side. It's Holly Page once again. Good run down that side. Infield it comes. Now across. Side run coming in from Alicia Gowan. Up to that 20 metre line. Chance here for Sirius. Ball played. Back now with the 10 Ellis. She chips it over the top. I'll tell you what, they had to deal with that, didn't they? Yeah, they did have to deal with it, and lucky that it went backwards, because um, you'd want to be taking them on the full, really. So a chance to attack from deep. Got some real powerful girls in the ranks, haven't they, Corpus Christi? I know this is a side that you've had some dealings with, isn't it? Yeah, um, they're a lead school, so in my day job as Lee Gino's Foundation Women and Girls Development Officer, I've been coaching them this year and, and last year, so um, I'm hoping, hoping that they, they go well today, but um, all the best to Sirius as well. Gittin's bringing the ball down the left-hand side. Ball now in the arms of Ruby McGrath. McGrath all wraps up. Penalty here, penalty. though, against Corpus Christi. And a chance here for Sirius to tap and attack. I think they need to maybe get the heads up now, Corpus Christi. This is where they'll um, let, let Sirius in if they don't get back on side D up and have a good transition and a good attitude. Tap to be taken here by Fielder. She turns it to her left hand side. Run comes in from Ellis. Big search from Ellis for the corner. Well held up in the end, though. Some uh, great defence there. Oh, good pick up. It's gone down that think, side. Yeah, I think she's got it. I think she's done well there. The other has scored. Pushed away through from Cubby Hart. Out on that right hand side. Good invasion there on the line, wasn't it? It was absolutely fantastic from Sirius. Yeah, I'm impressed with the pick up, the speed of watch picked the ball up. But um, Corpus Christi on the back foot straight away. A bit frustrating. We spoke about scoring from close range yesterday at training. Get, getting down low and making sure that you don't give them that opportunity. So, disappointing for them, but really, really good invasion. Really, really good to get out the blocks as quick as she did from, um, from the Sirius player. So, they're right back in it now, aren't they? Eight points to four, or ten points to four, I should say. What I always like at this level is someone always forgets to kick into. <laughs> and then they're all they're all shouting off, kick it into. <laughs> Ruby Bennett's the hero, she's run off for it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna be Ruby Ellis to attempt the conversion. So this to make it eight points to six. Oh, ten points to six, sorry. Keep forgetting about that goal that was added. Oh, you can hear us loud and clear now after those uh, couple of uh, early issues and the fact we, uh, we were missing a team sheet or two, so I couldn't bring you any details of who any of the players were. Well, we would have been able to. It would have just been very Corpus Christi, wouldn't it, I think? So I was, we were waiting until we got both sides before we could start talking. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Ellis far out on that right hand side just a couple of strides in from touch which is uh, all marked out with those markers 
11 aside this remember she gives it a good thump just not enough power I tell you what though it's not a natural thing is it goal kicking you've really um, got to practice yeah you've really really got to practice and I think you know in a competition like this it's all about bringing girls into, into rugby through the school system and you know they might not get that opportunity to go out and practice on a park on a weekend maybe not even think about doing it until they get to finals like this so um, it was a real good effort but just a bit more power on it for next time I mean that's certainly something that um, w was relevant last week in the year seven final that I covered yeah. um, you know the fact that you could tell that a lot of the girls hadn't done a lot of kicking yeah I think it's, it's not natural is it and I think it's something they'll pick up later as they, as they go to clubs and, and um, get into the sport a little bit more so that's a run from Mercy Wadi picked up at dummy half by Frankie Blakely she's playing out of uh, out of her age group isn't yeah, she yeah so she's um, year 7 so I was speaking to her, Ian Adman my colleague on the way over and it's quite interesting because obviously this is year 8 so some of the girls in the Corpus Christi and for Syria so play under 12s but some are playing under 14 so it's a good opportunity for them to play with players they don't usually get the chance to play with ball flight down this right hand side it's opening up there for Millie Kemp Great, pushes away from two she's back in field twists away from another Oh, this is really good stuff. Straightens up, but solid defence at the end when he arrived. Still, the danger hasn't gone. Ball in field. Here's Demi Lee Abbott. Good footwork. Good strength. And it's a try. Great work there. Great work, great work. She's, she's, in. she's coming back from an injury as um, Demi Lee Abbott, so it's pleasing to see her going so well. She's had a hand injury. She's not been playing and... Um, training for the past sort of month I would say so great to see her in, in good form and you know the, the inclusion of Frankie Blakey coming off the bench there at nine just speeded, speeded the rook up so much and really really tough for uh, Sirius to handle that She was flying down that side wasn't she? Absolutely well, yeah, flying Millie Kemp yeah um, she's, a, she's a quick player and she, she did really well there So 14 points to four kick to come Another opportunity here for Captain Kira Gittins to add the extra session. Another very difficult kick, though. It is a difficult kick. She uh, she was close last time, though, and I saw the uh, teacher, Mr. Mr. Bonless, who were uh, were telling her just to aim a little bit to the to the closer post to us, I think, because she she'd just gone wide. So if she changes up her aim, she definitely had the power. So we'll see how she gets on. Well, she gives it chances, but it doesn't quite come she's, enough. She's going to have to go in the middle, so she's gone from one to the other, so next time hopefully we'll get a successful conversion. So 14 4 is how it remains, but it's a, a good lead at this stage for Corpus Christi. Yeah, it's putting them in good standing um, just before half time. I'm, I'm sure Sirius will want you to get a, get a score back and make it a close encounter before they go in for the half time break. We've already seen from Sirius, though, if they can get within range, they're quite varied, aren't they, with the plays that they're putting on? Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, Corpus Christi needs to be on, on the toes and, and not take them lightly because they are um, an athletic, a strong, and um, organised team when they, when they get further down there. It's just, you know, it's like if you if you don't slow that play the ball down and you're constantly defending, it becomes a real tough day, and especially in heat like this. Um, I like these controlled restarts that we have at this level of rugby because uh, it gets everybody organised doesn't it and brings both attacks onto the play. Yeah it gives them time to get set, get focused and um, the coaches and referees to get on the, the messages they need to before they start. Yeah, he's wrapped up by three, she's lost the ball. That was really good contact in that challenge. I, I think from, from the from the get go, I don't know if it were Kieran Gittins or Demi, Demi Abbott with the first tackle but I think that may be sent out a message to Sirius. So Blakey pushes the ball to her right hand side Good solid run. I'll tell you what, that's a great tackle though coming in. Done just, well to slow the player the ball down there, got her on the back. Just restricting Oladi there. Blake picks up, goes down the left hand side. Dondo cuts back to the middle. Twist turns through two tackles, through a third, rampaging forward. She's 30 metres away from oh, line. That's a beautiful off road away. Oh. And that's a try saving tackle coming in there by Hassoon. Well, to get that outcome because she's a big, strong runner is um, is blessing, and I'm, I'm pleased that she got that offload away as well, showing that she's strong and skillful. And that that was good straight down the middle, wasn't it? Again, the, he seemed to target that area. Yeah. So Sirius back in possession. There's Hill, who's done her first year of carries this first half. Ball pushed down the right hand side now. Brilliant footwork. A lovely run coming in there by Aitchison. She's still going. Just put down near the halfway line. Looking for a quick play of the ball here. The fielder who drops it back. Looking for Hill again. That's strength. Targeting two or three defenders. Pushing forward. Into the middle it comes out. Ellis. 
And I tell you what, that speaks volumes of the character there of young Blakey, doesn't it? She yeah. really got to grips with her there. She doesn't take a backward step. Down the left-hand side, he's moved now. Here's Asun. Good drive as well by Asun. Excellent control in the tackle there as well. It's been a really good set since that turnover. Ball back to Ellis, who kicks it up in the air. Difficult one to take. Blakey ah. comes for it. It's been picked up, however. The referee has ensued it's a, uh, another set of six coming up here for Sirius on the edge of the 20 metre line. Sirius, but still in possession, getting inside that 20, but that is all the action that we have for the first half. What a good first half it was, Lewis. Corpus have a lot to work on in the second in the second half, but um, really really good first half. Some impressive um, go forward by Corpus Christi, and really really impressed with the work rate of number eight and number ten for um, for Sirius Academy. They've, they've, they've worked tirelessly to get their team out of out of their half and, and give the other girls an opportunity to play. Uh, Lois, thank, thanks for that. We'll go to half time, and it's 14 points to four here in favour of Corpus Christi, and we'll actually be able to bring you full second half coverage. to second half coverage via the Our League app of this Warners School Champions Rugby League final. It's the year eight girls that are taking centre stage at the moment. It's uh, Sirius of Hull taking on Corpus Christi of Leeds. Corpus Christi in the silver. Uh, Sirius in the black and green. I've got Lewis Forsell alongside me from uh, Leeds Rhinos. It was a really good first half, that. Yeah, really good and really competitive. I was I was impressed with some of the contact, but the way that they were moving the ball as well. Um, so excited for the second half to get underway. So uh, a big a big part of that first half was the defensive efforts of both sides. It just ended up with uh, Corpus Christi having that bit more useful possession down the serious end, didn't it? Yeah, and Sirius will be looking to get into the right places, and I think they made a few early errors, which might be because you know nerves of, of being in a big final like today. But they've shown in that in that first half that they are really threatening once they get close range and force some errors off of the back of the kick. So they'll just look to finish their sets and play in the right places, I imagine. I think that's a great comment, by the way, where, where you said about it's the first time in a final for Sirius, isn't it? Whereas yeah. uh, this team has has been in it before, haven't they? They were yeah. in the Year Seven final. Yeah, last year and they were, they were last year, so it's still pretty fresh for them. And you know, Sirius. So a great, great jump. Sorry, I can't ignore that. <laughs> I like that. That's um, a great run. Yeah, great yeah. run out of So they'll have there. a few nerves or serious, but they'll have eased into the game now. Blakey sure. picks up, sends it to the right-hand side. They keep the ball moving. Good running through that middle once more by Blessing Dundo. She's a real handful. It's took four players to bring her down. She's over the halfway line. She's over the 40. Ball pushed down the right-hand side now. Here's Gittins. Gittins lines it up, puts it to the right-hand side. She likes stepping back on this in inside try, doesn't she, Millie Kemp? But it's picking up metres for her. She, yeah, she's getting metres wherever she goes, but I, I will be asking her to maybe back herself and just go for that corner and see see what she gets from that. 22 metres away from the try line. Blakey picks up, takes it on the left-hand side. Good ball. Good tackle as well. Great defence there. She's done well as Daisy to stay in there. Daisy being plays it. Blakey tries to get away from dummy half. Feeds it into the arms of Gittins. Gittins gets a kick away. Oh, it's a tricky one. Goes to ground. Lock on. Unlucky there, just a little bit of... They both went for it, so you're pleased with that, but I think they didn't realise that each other were going to go for the same ball. I think that... What I want to say, though, is that was a super kick. What a good kick. It was a great set, to be fair. I think um, Jay-Z set at the pace when she jumped out of dummy half. And here's Blakey jumping out of dummy half, scoring in the corner. Fantastic work down that right-hand side. She beat two or three players, but spotted that they'd really spread out down the other side of the field. That was good smarts. She, she's a quick player, but she is a really smart player. She, um, she works really hard at a club East Leeds. A lot of these girls are East Leeds rugby players. Um, but she goes to stuff like Rugby School of Excellence, and she comes to all the things we win at the foundation. So she's just keen to learn, and she's got a great attitude. And it must be great when you see someone like that, who is almost like a sponge, and they're willing to, you know, soak up so much of that information that you, you're wanting to give. Yeah, that's that's all a coach wants is to be to be heard and and understood and and put into practice. So um, the girls have been great the past couple of weeks in training, doing that last night in particular. But Frankie has has put a lot of work in, and that's 
probably, you know, she, she probably relies on being smart because although she's quick, she's not, not the biggest of players and um, sometimes you've got to be smart if you can't run over people, aren't you? Hey, you worked for Rob Burrows for many a year, didn't you? 100%. So, difficult conversion attempt over on the right-hand side of the field. Once again for Gittins. Just gave a last attempt, a real thump. Does the same with this one. Yeah, not enough power this time as well, and legs will be getting tired. 18 points to four, though. It's a decent enough lead against Sirius, but we already know from evidence in that first half, if they can get themselves in the right sort of positions, they will cause issues, won't they, for this Corpus Christi side. A couple of changes made as well, I noticed during half time. A little bit of a change, I noticed Maisie Pratton's gone on down that right hand side. Don't think she was on in the first half. No, she'll be, she'll be looking forward to get going. And then Georgina Sayer is also on as well. I think that's, you know, there's been a lot of girls who've played for this Corpus Christi uh, team throughout the year. There's a lot who have missed out on coming today, which speaks volumes about how much girls have been developing. There's so many wanting to wanting to play and put themselves forward. And the good thing is, I mean, I know that was a fantastic final we covered last year, but yeah. this is equal with the skills, so it just shows that they're, they're stepping it up again, yeah. doesn't it? 100%. Little error there coming up though, as yeah. I mentioned, skill. We'll see. Yeah, commentator's un curse. Un unlucky there, un unlucky there. I think, um, especially if some of the girls don't play club rugby as well as school rugby, they'll be um, maybe a little bit raw to some of these rules that'll be put in place and have to be, you know, real strict at an event like this with it being national schools final. Big run through that medal. Ball to be played now. Blakey's there. Blakey picks up. Comes down this left hand side. Feet it out to Katie Barrett. Good running from Barrett. Three players upon her. She still powers her way forward. Quick play of the ball. Blakey takes it down the left hand side again. Here's Daisy Behan. Behan's got pace. That's a good tackle though, once again by Paige Walker. That's the second time I think she's caught her there. Here's Blakey once more, running crossfield, looking for some support. Finds it in the form of Gittins. Gittins keeps it moving to Dundo. Dundo picks up some pace, picks up some power. She's broken through. She's charging for that try line. Valiant tackle attempt, but it's not going to stop Dundo from getting her second try. So strong, strong carry and, and found a way to that line. I think that she only had her eyes set on that and she got there in the end. Great effort to try and stop her, but I think with the leg drive that she had, they, they struggled. It was very, very brave from Libby Manning. I mean, I know fullbacks. I always say fullbacks got to be the bravest sort of position that you can have on a rugby field, to be honest, because everybody's running at you. <laughs> yeah, you can ask Ian Adman next that question. I think he's, <laughs> he's played his straight up, but straight up fullback. But um, yeah, I think you know it's high pressure, and she did great there. She got she got body in front, but unlucky, just not not um, enough that on that occasion. But I'm sure, her teacher and her teammates will be um, impressed with her giving it a best shot. She's shown it a number of times, hasn't she, with the carries blessing done. Though, that she's, she's blessed with a, a, a great running style. Yeah. She's so strong. And we saw the evidence of her pace as well. Yeah, she's great. She's a great all round player. Um, you know, she's got all of those attributes. And then combined with if she improved the school, she'd be an absolute threat going forward, especially as, you know, as, as girls get a little bit older and more mature, people might match her for physicality. So she needs to keep working on those skills. But showed early on in the game with that offload that she's certainly thinking about bringing that into her toolbox. And of course, what we've seen from this. Uh, schools competition his players move into the women's super league and obviously you've got Kira yeah. Bennett now haven't you oh yeah minutes. 100% yeah Kira's great example we did some work with Kira yesterday around um, she plays so close so whilst I'm on the sideline I'm trying to help Kira as much as I can and um, she's one of those players who's an absolute joy she, she just wants she's like a sponge she wants to learn and she wants to listen and um, she's got a bright future ahead of her and champion schools is a great example of how that's um, grown her love for the game and shown her where the pathway will lie uh, Millie Kemp so unfortunately just sending that one wide scoreline four points to Sirius 22 to Corpus Christi I just wonder whether there is a comeback in this Sirius side we know already with what we've seen of them that they don't give up get themselves organised plenty of encouragement from the middle player there field of the captain running down this right hand side good run as well by Manning Beats two players, gain about five or six metres down this right-hand side. Ball picked up at a dummy half by Fielder. Pops it to the right-hand side. Good tackle. One-on-one -on -one there. Katie Barrett dragging the player down there, which was uh, Elsie Hill. Another in, good run from Enola Aitchison over that 40-metre line. They are pushing their way forward. Are you serious? Only one marker taking advantage. The run comes in from Fielder. 
to that 30. Queuing through the tackle count. Ball comes to the left hand side. Good move, Ben. And then pop back. Oh. Oh. Maybe a little bit ambitious. I think it was an alright idea for us. Just trying to keep the ball alive for her team, but a teammate just weren't ready. I think she's probably she's probably a bit tired. She's taken a load of carries um, as uh, Ruby Ellis, so she were looking to give the ball to somebody else and get someone else through. What a challenge there, and Chevelle Clark, but she rode it well, standing big and tall in that challenge. She'll play this ball back to Simpson. Simpson passes left. Blakey keeps it moving. This is Sayer going back down that middle. Testing out those middle defenders once again. It was Manny who came up with the stop. Ball on the right hand side. Kemp cuts back in field. She does love that step back on the inside, doesn't she? You can it, it, see that. He didn't put her in good stead there because of her defender <laughs> waiting for her. They might have worked it out. It's almost like a pet play, that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Now, this is the first time that we've had the chance to comment on. Pratton running the ball in. It was a good strong run down that right hand side. Ball back to Blakey. Blakey spins it across. Gittins lines it up. Looking for the running of Clark. Good running from Clark. Bursting through that middle. Gets rid of one defender. Still going. Great leg drive. Up to the 40 metre line. Last tackle signals of this particular set. Picked up by Simpson. She funnels it down the left. Kick comes in from Gittins. That's a devilish one. They go for it. Alicia Kevin picks it up for the second time of asking. Great tackle by Demi Abbott. Runs it down that left hand side, 30 metres away from their own line. Serious pick up. And there's Hassoon. She's shown her well, hasn't she, in this game, Hassoon? Yeah, she's tough. Oh, good hands. Uh, yeah, she's tough, taking the ball well for the teammates and got a quick play of the ball, which has led to this um, little bit of speed up in play for Sirius. And here comes Ellis. Initially, looked like she was going to make. Massive impact in that challenge, but I tell you what, it's a great tackle. Keeping the ball alive, Sirius. Running down this middle. There's Hill, spinning in the challenge, gets away from one. Can't escape the clutches of the other two which came in. Play the ball happens on the halfway line. Ball down the right-hand side. Aitison, taking on the line. No support on that occasion. Quick play the ball, though. Still getting... Lots of energy here, Sirius. Oh, Great challenge. Tackle by Kira. Absolutely fine. Kira Kitchens. She, she, she's been a workhorse in the in the middle of the park. I think she's looked really smart with the ball. She's been playing off of a plus one for, for her team, getting the ball a little bit wider when they've needed to. But she's worked tirelessly in the middle of the park, and I've, I've been impressed with her so far today. Okay, maybe an early shout there from Lois maybe. for our player of the match. Keep with us for the thoughts there as the run comes in from Sayer. Two of her last three carries have been really, really strong like that, haven't they, from Saya? Yeah, she's she's turning it really, really well. She's running the ball really well and she's making big efforts in defence, but um, in press, she's finding a front. A bit of a slow play of the ball then, but I think she may be a bit injured. I thought that was great work from Blakey then to unleash Clark and then she took a, a late tackle for a challenge as well, didn't she? Yeah. I think maybe look more dramatic that she's, that she's smaller <laughs> than the other girls. She's got a penalty anyway, so she won't be complaining. They take the metres downfield. Simpson lines it up. I think Mercy looks like she might be the first one on this ball. Mercy Owardi. She just come, she just come on for Georgina Sayer. Good charge. Down that left hand side. 20 metres away from the try line. Another five tackles in possession for Corpus Christi. Here's Clark. Lovely step. Brilliant footwork. Brilliant work. What a try that was. She beat the defenders all end up with that little shimmy. Yeah. She's absolutely brilliant. Brilliant footwork to go through the gap and really pleased for Chevelle. She's working really hard at a club out of school and, and on, a, on a pathway that we run at the foundation. So good reward for a lot of commitment for her there to score in the national finals. 26 points to four. What a run that was. You can see how much it means to the girls there. Yeah, they're just... I think it's that joy when they get over the line. It's, um, yeah, she's just buzzing and all of her teammates are going to, so I think it's great. She'll be, she'll be pleased with that. I'm pleased for her. To be fair, tries like that are great to commentate on as well. Well, yeah, because it caught you by surprise. You didn't know like they were particularly going to be anything no, from that no. And then Little she just saw the gap went. and went. Not bad for a forward, which is sure is what should tell us is her playing position. <laughs> Millie Kemp has taken over. She had the last attempt at a conversion. This was a little bit easier, a little bit further in, so hopefully um, she'll, she'll 
she'll uh, be successful. I was never a goal kicker during my uh, <laughs> my very few rugby days, so I can't really add anything to this when, with regards to goal kicking. Kem stands the ball up, which then falls off the tee. <laughs> She's just getting ready to sweep in as well. 26 points to four in favour of Corpus Christi. She's done well to get away from this serious side. Oh, she's done it there, yeah. Brilliant kick. Flags are raised, 28 points to four. That just adds a little bit more to the game. Gives just that little bit more to do. It's looking like a, a mountain now. Standing teacher in, um, in James Endersby who's been working at the school and he's developed girls rugby absolutely massively over the, the past couple of years but he's moved on to a new school this, this academic year so um, this will be his last game with the girls and I'm sure that they've had that in the back of their mind and they'll be pleased that they've got the, the victory for him on his, on his departure and he'll be really, really proud and pleased too. What a way to go out. Yeah, if they can keep it up to this score, he'll be, he'll be really impressed. But Sirius are looking feisty in there, trying to get a roll on with this play of the ball here. Manning fed the ball down the right-hand side. Good run coming in. Equally strong defence. Good pick play of the ball. Fielder picks up. Sends it to the left. This boy's something down that right-hand side again. Here's Manning. Oh, Manning gets away from Clark. Gets an offload. Clark doesn't give up, though. Ends up rounding up Ellis. 32 metres away from the try line. Ball down the left-hand side. Manny takes it through the middle again. Looks for an offload. Finds it. Good support play. Good running from her soon. Soon up to the 20. She'll look to play this ball to Fielder. Fielder passes to the right-hand side. Here's Hill. Big handoff comes in. Defence is good, though. 15 metres away from the try line. Last tackle signalled. Siri is still in possession. And they put some pressure on here. Lovely step from Aitchison. Puts it to the left, kick comes in, well taken. She's quick, you know, she's a bit away because she might do the full length here. And here's Willie Kemp, she is going all the way. The chase is after her, I don't think they're going to stop her. This is magnificent from Millie Kemp. She's picked it up, 10 metres from her own line, went fully 90 metres down the other end. Yeah, an absolute fantastic finish by Millie Kemp, but um, Holly Cage with her all the way. I thought she might have got her at one point, but... Um, she caught the ball quite well. It were, you know, I think I don't think Sirius were aware it were last play, and then kind of noticed, tried to flick out wide. But um, a great, a great take, and um, not a bad finish either. Uh, so with about five minutes remaining, Lewis. So Lewis, with about five minutes remaining, you've just given your decision there for player of the match. Yeah. Um, who you picked? to it earlier I think um, Corpus Christi have been absolutely outstanding they've been they've been tough they've been dominant and there's been some individual brilliance you know through Millie Kemp finishing that um, Demi Abbott blessing some strong running Flanky, Frankie Blake it sped the game up when she came on and had a, had a great knock but for me the person who I've, I've given it to is um, Kira Gittins she's she's uh, led them well she's played off plus one she's organised them but not only has she done that she's had a, a, had a role to play in the kicking but being an absolute powerhouse in defence she's, she's not given up she's been in the middle of the park and made sure that nothing's gone down that middle that middle channel. So um, this year's player of the match for the Year 8 girls is Kira Gaines. And that is perfect timing because she's just <laughs> kicked the goal to convert yeah. as well to make it 34 points to four in favour of Corpus Christi. Just a couple of minutes remaining of this, uh, of this game now. It's about closing it out, isn't it? Just got to got to keep on the toes and make sure that they don't let in the last minute tries. I'm sure that's not the way that they want to finish the game. But um, I think Sirius have been great. They've, they've you know to say about the score on the board, the last set that they had was, was really great. They completed. The, bit, the teacher will have been pleased with that. It's just a shame that it went to Millie Kemp's hands and she she's pretty quick. So um, I'm sure that they'll look to get another good set and, and finish on a high also. So 34 points to four. Those were the thoughts of Lois Forsell to himself as Sirius, Sirius come forward again here's Manning she's been she's been good I think for Sirius yeah she's been great in defence but taking it forward and, and getting them on the way fielder picks up sends it left good footwork 
Ellis goes again. She's been industrious. Gets an off road away. Lovely running. Good defence as well. Clark came in with the big hit. 32 metres away from the try line here is Sirius. Once again taken in by Hill. Hill, look around for support. It wasn't that much doing. Takes the tackle. It was a good one which came away by Beaton. Go right here and be a bit of joy. Got three on two if they can use it. I'll tell you what, it's great defence once again by Yittins. Sure that play down. Hill keeps it moving. Moving the ball brilliantly. Running down the left hand side. It's a soon. Within 10 metres of the try line. They've done well to get to this position at the end of this set. It's been called for again by Ellis. Puts the ball high. Good pick up by Blakey. Takes on the defence but can't escape the clutches there. Manning, who doubles up her efforts. Tackle comes in, 15 metres away from their own line here, Corpus Christi. Picked up by Simpson. Absolute outstanding effort by Libby Manning there. I think she's just done four tackles on the bounce and uh, not let one Corpus Christi get out of her sights. And I'm sure she'll be on her bike now to get behind the line. She's doing just that. Emily Abbott. Little pass to her right hand side. Here's Awadi. Good run again. Look at that. There's five girls trying to stop her. Eventually, well, which I think is Libby Manning again, who's now going to have to. Oh no, she's back, she's set. Here's Blakey. Bossy spotted. Feeds it on this left hand side. Running chance here by Daisy Beer. Pass looks suspect. She's not hanging around though. What a set by Libby Manning. I think she's been involved in every tackle in that set and just a try saver there. It's an awesome effort. Here's Clark. Chips over the top. Spots there's no Libby Manning. She's chasing after it. Ball beat everybody. And the final whistle goes. Look at the celebrations. Harpers Christie have won. And we'll let them celebrate. And the presentations will start. Presentations to be uh, done, or conducted, I should say, by Steve Booroyd of the English Schools Rugby League board member and Pat Crawshaw, vice president of the Rugby Football League. I'm always impressed with how quick these presentation tables are here. Uh, Lewis, it's been great having you on again. Congratulations to Corpus Christi uh, girls and uh, commiserations to Sirius, but I think with their first final, they've got to be proud of their efforts and hopefully we'll see them back in a final in 2020. And best of luck with your recovery as well. I believe Thank you. you're in for an operation next week. Yeah, Tuesday, so another one ticked off and hopefully a little bit closer on the on the step to recovery and just keep, keep cracking on my rehab, but that's all I can do and hopefully back playing shortly. Hopefully one of these days I'm going to get to commentate <laughs> you on the field rather than having you alongside me. Not hopefully. that I don't mind that, but I'd, I'd sooner you be out there doing your yeah. Hopefully I'm better at talking. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Lewis. for these presentations Corpus Christi are the victors they win the crown for the year 8 girls final in the champion schools sponsored this year by Warners many thanks to them for their sponsorship as well Photographs will certainly be part of the scrapbook. And 
serious they've played their full part as well how these presentations will go is that we'll see our match officials who did a magnificent job receive a token of gratitude Great work by all match officials in this game.